Good afternoon fellow vanners. Um, if like me you have a two inch control arm shaft that's hollow you've probably been searching on the internet and not been able to find much information about it and the one video on YouTube that you would have found if you haven't already found this one would have showed you somebody smashing at the shaft from the top and using a, a two ton press I believe to push down on it. Don't do that. I'm hopefully going to help people with this video to uh, show them how to do their control arm bushings. Um, I make no apologies for getting mixed up, shaky camera, uh, rambling uh, or any other uh, uh, distractions, noises um, that may be going on. Uh, I'm not doing it for likes, I'm doing it to try and help people. So, okay, okay, here we go. Um, right, firstly, the shaft is hollow and inside it's got a rubber bushing that runs all the way along and here there's a hole you can see the rubber bushing inside the hole there and that hole locates and the mount for the control shaft where your u-bolts go and that puts that orientates the shaft in the correct well orientation yeah so firstly um, you'll notice that here there's a washer and a rubber washer that you'll have that's disintegrated. You're going to have to replace that and it does not come with your control arm bushing kit. So what I did was I sliced through the old bushing here, which is really tough rubber, sawed through it with a hacksaw right the way down through the middle to split it directly in half and then got that rubber, that metal washer Stuck it inside there, used one of these, which in the UK we call a Stanley blade. So I used the Stanley blade to cut around it to make the shape and then scissors and then I ended up with a perfect washer to replace that one that's damaged in there. So now to get it all to pieces. You can't take it out that way because of all this stuff here. This is the front of the shaft, the control arm is upside down, this is the driver's side. So you have to remove it this way, starting off with this bushing. So these are the tools that you require. That's it, just that. No two ton press, nothing else, just those things there. So what you do is you hammer away in this to, de to deform it and then hammer in that direction till eventually the bushing comes out. You can also get down there and knock it out that way as long as you're very careful obviously you don't want to damage the mounting hole in any way. So just persevere with it. it took me about I think about an hour and a half something like that. Being careful but you know you've got to be firm at the same time. So once you've got that out You'll be very pleased with yourself once you have, and then you'll be able to slide the shaft out. And I'll show you how it all works when I've done that. So, here's the metal washer I told you about, and here's your disintegrated rubber washer. See? There, inside, is your rubber rubber mount and you can't see it but you know it's in there so the whole shaft has got this rubber all the way around it and hopefully yours is in good condition like mine is and then on this end you've got funny shaped washer rubber spacer and something else that locks on there like that once you've got the shaft out you can then tackle this one now I used this extensive ball joint installation and removal kit. I highly recommend one of them. It took me about five minutes to get that bushing out. And you know, nice and easy. And as you see, it's collapsed. So it did need changing after all. Um, also that kit, you're gonna need it to remove and install your ball joint here and that gets it out easy, no problem. 
Anyway, hope this video helps you. Um, and I hope, hope you don't mess it up. I was shitting myself that I was going to mess it up because I couldn't find out any information. I hope this helps somebody. Oh, final tip. Undo all your bolts, upper and lower control arm shaft, before you remove them from the vehicle. Because they're done, you know, they're 140 foot pound and they're difficult to do once the control arms off the vehicle. Um, that's a good tip. And uh, anything else before I go? Um, yeah, plenty of PV blaster and WD-40 in your shells as you're trying to get the shells out. And uh, yeah, hopefully this helps someone. All the best people and happy vanning. Ta-ra!